All right, what's up everybody? This is Rob Shack. So today we're gonna be doing another video in my Dynasty Warrior 6 walkthrough. Uh, be sure to like, subscribe, comment, and share. Help me get to a thousand subs. Hoping to get there by the end of the year. So we've beaten the game with three Shu characters, Zhao Yun, Guan Yu, and Zhang Fei. We've done Zhou Yu and Lu Xun. Today we'll be doing Shang, Shang, Sun, Sun Shang Zhang. Then we'll get moving on to let other people in wave soon after that. But yeah, we're just kind of moving through them all the way that like most people would probably do it. So now we we'll use Shun Shang Zhang, who is got a bow in this weapon or in this game, so that should be interesting. But yeah, she's pretty broken because she can just snipe people from a distance. So let's watch the stuff, and I'll talk in a second. As the sound of their rise and fall echoed across the land, throughout China, great warlords competed for dominion. Following their ambitions and aspirations, they faced each other with steel against steel. It was into such a world that Sun Shang Zhang was born. Following the wishes of their deceased father, Sun Jian, Sun Shang Zhang's brother, Sun Se, took up the fight to establish the Sun family as rulers over the land. Wanting to support her brother, she decided to follow him into battle. Shang Zhang, I know you said you wanted to fight, so I brought you with me. But hey, you're my sister. There's a chance you could get hurt. I don't believe you. I thought if anyone understood, you would. I am a daughter of the Sun family, sister to the little conqueror. I want to be a warrior, not a little housewife. Hey, I never said you couldn't fight, and I'm glad to have you by my side. All right, then. Hurry up, will you? We have to retake the land of Wu. All right, so we are doing the Conquest of Wu. We are going to be using her weapon. It's called Matter Rose. I don't know what the heck that means, but that's fine. Um, I'll use oh, this horse. Yeah, it's fine. And we'll get it going here. So um, I really enjoy this game. I know I've like been talking about that a lot in my videos on this game. I honestly really do think this game is very good. I think the Rambu system is weird, but they definitely thought of ways to try to make it better. And they didn't do the worst job. They could have done the worst job. They could have never had like roving attacks at all. Let's see. It says the enemy is scattered about an area bounded by rivers. Using the land to your advantage and a surprise attack is one strategy, but keeping pace with your allies would be the soundest plan. Sunset's forces are the only ones who set their eyes on this fertile land. It may come up across unexpected interference. So we have to get rid of the North Camp and the south watch post in 10 minutes, 500 KOs in 10 minutes, and then keep some people alive. That should be fine, the keeping people alive part, unless I totally butcher that. Um, but yeah, Sun Chang Chang has a bow. She doesn't have that bad of an attack. She's not terrible. Um, it's interesting that they thought of this though, because it was their first time they ever went with something like this, where she literally, you can just stand, you can shoot off screen too in this game. like. In some of the earlier games, damage doesn't happen off screen. But in this game, you can literally just snipe people. Like I can just shoot into my right here and just start wiping out people. She has a, it's a very interesting attack pattern. Like again, she's, it's not bad. It's really not bad. It's pretty good actually, because especially cause she shoots in such a uh, wide arc, especially as she gets stronger. When you get like your infinite Rambu, you just kind of obliterate everybody. And her Muso, <laughs> Her Muso is ridiculous. Her Muso just clears people out. Like, people just are gone. It's insanely good. So, she's really a great character. Uh, I, I, I like her redesign. It's an interesting style choice. She has like a, almost like a hint of the non-mon force, because she's kind of like, I don't know how to describe it. Just like, there's more feathers, there's more, like she has a different, she kind of had the same design every game for a while, and then this was the first game that they kind of... I mean, again, they went with... They redid everything in this game, and I think some of the ideas stuck and some of them didn't. Um, I don't think this game's uh, moveset is terrible, though. Like, I don't think she's like a... She doesn't look like a bad character or anything. Her voice is a little bit nasally, but it's like, it's fine. Um, I wanted to do the... Yeah, if you grab people, her grabs are very, very easy because 
she just shoots straight forward and then whatever happens, happens. So, actually what I'm gonna do is Muso all these people. I need to get 500 KOs in 10 minutes. Yeah, look at how good her Muso is. Her Muso is in freaking sane. She just destroys everything in her path. So, I'm actually gonna go over to, I'm gonna go back the way I came. It's a little bit inefficient, but my troops are all fighting over there. And I wanna make sure Sun Quan and Zhou Tai don't die. Um, I think they should be fine for now. We'll see. Uh, but yeah, Sun Cheng Zhang's moveset is very interesting in this game because she is, like, in history, she was, like, or at least in Romance of the Three Kingdoms, they talk about how she had a, she was uh, fluent with a bow. She, like, had archery skills. I don't know if that's actually true in real life in history, but, like, they talk about that in those books. And so it's, like, I thought it was cool that they tried this moveset. I mean, yeah, look at, look at her moveset. This is ridiculous. She just destroys everything in her path when she musos. It's very, very fun. And she gets her muso up really quickly too when she does that. Like that's what makes her so fun is that she's just constantly move. You can just muso so much more than everybody else. And then you just aim off screen and just shoot everybody. And it works pretty well, you know? She's really, really fun to use. Um, here goes Yan Yu. Let's get rid of one by who. And we got him too. She's not very strong, but like she doesn't need to be. Does that like she really does not need to be strong because so many times you don't even have to worry about getting hit. My Lord, Master Yuan Shu is okay, so this is where be where we need to. Let's drop a safe here because we have Yuan Shu coming. But Sun Cheng Zhang is good. Um, once she, yeah, once she gets her like higher up grand boots, she becomes completely unstoppable. All right, so we have to get rid of two things have to happen in 10 minutes. So like I'm going to actually let me go. I did just drop a save, but I'm going to go. I'm going to go up there and get ready to, def to fight Yuan Shu. And then I'll go up there to have to get that north gate. Oh, and my generals are going up there. Okay, I'm glad I'm heading this way now. Because I don't want, I'm pretty sure Sun Quan is one of the ones heading up there. I wouldn't be surprised if. Oh no, they're both over here. Okay, well, that's interesting. I'm not super worried about it. They're, they, I mean, it's hard for them to get defeated, especially because we're just, they just keep moving around as this giant block of people. But yeah, she's a archer. It's, it is really interesting. I'm glad they tried this because later other characters have bow attacks and stuff like that in Dying Swords 8. Again, Dying Swords 9 is like, just such a bad game that I'm like, I don't even really think about Dying Swords 9 as like a real Dying Swords game. So I'm like, yeah, they brought back the bow attacks in the most recent game, Dynasty Warriors 8, because it's like the bad, good one. So, yeah, Dynasty Warriors is, is very good. Oh, it's, oh, I didn't realize. Okay, cool. So, what I forgot about with this is that he comes up as a yellow general. See, I love that they like started doing this. They did this in um, Samurai Warriors, and then they started doing it again in uh, Dynasty Warriors. They like, brought in the three-prong battles and stuff like that, which I always thought was really cool. So... Now we'll get rid of Lei Bao here. Let's get rid of him quickly. The grabs are very, very good with uh, whatever her name is. For our names for a second, because I'm trying to focus on not dying. All right, let's get everybody around me because I want to get. Cool. Master Sun Tsei, we have come here to help you. You traitor, you on shoe. Sun Tsei. I actually really like that little Zhang Fei flourish at the beginning there. It's kind of nice. What does this move do? What does she do with this move? 
Oh, it's like swift attack. Okay. I didn't really know what was going on with that. So yeah, here's her full attack. She's really good when she gets her full Rambu. I love that they give you this, this is a weapon in this, or an item in this game where you can like see how powerful your character will become later. There we go. All right, I took out like everybody. Now let's go back and get all the stuff. I missed a lot of it because I was trying to not I didn't want to uh, let that general run away. Yeah, so she see she's one of the ones that has kind of a crappy. Uh, her uh, situation isn't very great with her uh, special her little tome thing because she has swift attack, but like she doesn't really she doesn't run very fast. Like she kind of just runs the same speed that she was already running. So like that's not very good, honestly. But it's fine. I guess. Uh, so I'm going to get 500 KOs in 10 minutes, which I think we should be able to do in the next few seconds when we get to the next thing. Again, she's so good where she can shoot off screen. I, that That is like such a good strength of her character. Again, they had to kind of nerf her a little bit, which is why I think swift attack is so bad. I can't imagine if she or her uh, true speed is bad. I think if she had swift attack, she would be like completely busted. Where she would get infinite rembu, like I think she would be insanely good. So they kind of had to like bring her down a couple pegs by making her uh, rembu thingy or her tone thing kind of garbage because it's pretty bad. Like I, she has a like a unique animation where she kicks, which but I think that's actually just her dash, her strong dash attack in this game. So it's like really not super creative on their end, but. Again, they made her moveset so crazy awesome in the first place. So I think that they just kind of either ran out of time and were like, she's good enough. Or they were like, yeah, she's too good. We need to like actually make her kind of bad in some area. Because for, for she's really good. Especially with the horse. Or uh, especially with the... Um, what are they doing? I find it hilarious that they try to duel me. I don't want to duel anybody. I can't stand dueling. Let's, do it. Let's go ahead and grab this guy. Let's grab this. Let's get rid of this guy. Oh, oh, someone else did it. It's fine. As long as we don't lose uh, some Quan and Zhou Tai, which we won't. I don't think we will. They seem to be doing just fine. They just defeated the general they were fighting. So I'm, I'm going to still go over there and help them out just in case. I'm pretty sure... Is Tai Shi Shi on this level? Isn't this the one that has Tai Shi Shi on it? Yeah, Tai Shi Shi is here. So that's that's kind of cool. He's the only like actual general that this side has, which is pretty interesting. So we'll go ahead and work on getting rid of whoever the heck this is. Wait. Uh, I guess he killed him while I had him grabbed. That's actually pretty cool. I didn't think that you could pin somebody in such a way that then they can't, you can, they can take damage from other people. I figured once I grabbed him, it would just be me doing damage to nobody else. But that's fine. Now we're going to tie Shishi, finish this level up. But yeah, I definitely think she's good. I'll probably do the next few levels without talking because I try not to like talk in every single one of these videos. But um. Wow, I didn't realize how close I was to not getting that done. I could have sworn I already had 500 because I wasn't really paying attention. All right, where's Tai Chi Chi? He's over there. He's just on the ground for some reason. Because, yeah, our AI is really good, too. Everyone, all the AI in this game is very much good. Okay. I wanted the credit for taking him out, so that's why I just went ahead and shot him. 
got it, went ahead and got my uh, attack on, even though I wanted to do the grab again. I was like, they're going to destroy him. They always do. So now we're going to go ahead and head on over to... Oh, there he is. There's some people. Okay, let's get rid of these people. I don't even know what I'm trying to hit here. My, what am I, where is my, oh, okay, there I am. <laughs> I was like, I literally don't even know what's happening right now. Let's just try it out and see what it does. Oh, that gave me 200 for doing that. I actually, I think I always get 200 for killing the main commander. So, I just want to see what happened if I took her, took him down with the uh, special attack. But yeah, Sunshine Zhang is good. She's not a bad character. Um, I like her redesign in this game. So, we'll talk more about her, how good she is when we get to the end of the game. But thank y'all for watching. Hope y'all enjoy. Y'all are great. And I hope you uh, have a great day. Peace.